Hi, this is your one and only favorite herbalist, Q Green. And we're gonna talk about your herb for today, which will be rosemary. So, yes, rosemary is excellent for those who have ADHD, Alzheimer's, asthma, bronchitis, headaches, migraines, age spots, amnesia, baldness, blocked nose, cancer, body odor, cough, dandruff, depression, fever, the flu, hangovers, hepatitis, libido loss for male and for females, liver diseases, rosacea, stretch marks, um, tumors, sarcoidosis, acid reflux, anxiety, arthritis, blood clots, gray hair, digestive disorder, diabetes, colic, cataracts, bruises, dizziness, fatigue, food poisoning, heart attacks, heart diseases, hematoma, impotence, insect allergies, IBS, joint pains, lower back pains, all pains actually because it's a very, very big painkiller. It's a really high um, painkiller, so any type of pain, um, low blood pressure, macular degeneration, muscle sprains, opiate withdrawal. So for those who are addicted to drugs like the fentanyl, the, um, the uh, what is that called? People who are addicted to like, um, like Oxycontin and all of those other pills. Yes, that's, uh, and if let's say you stop and you, you're really trying to break this addiction, Yes, this is an opiate. This helps opiate withdrawal. Um, it also helps stress. It helps personality disorder, poor concentration, poor blood circulation, osteoarthritis, IBS, postpartum depression, sore muscles, stomach aches, varicose veins, wrinkle, and urinary tract infection. Now, the action of the rosemary, now mind you, rosemary, you can find that in the grocery stores. It's probably maybe $4 max, I would say. Um, you can get it dry or fresh and you can tincture it. You can boil it, you can drink it. You can use it as a tonic on your skin. Um, yes, it will kill those skin diseases as well. Kill off the bacteria on the skin. So if, you, if you're applying it correctly, Yes, because it is anti-microbial, -micro -micro whatever, anti-microbial, you know what I mean, anti-microbial, microbial. you know what, just forget it, but yes, it's antibacterial, it's antimicrobial, <laughs> it's antifungal, um, it's antiviral, anti-malarial, like I'm telling you, this rosemary, shh. it's aphrodisiac, it's a memory enhancer, it's a cardiotonic, it is an anti-tumor, a brain enhancer, it's an immunity booster, it's an insecticidal, it's a tonic, a stimulant, a relaxant, a detoxant, an um, anti-ulcer, it's an anti-mutagenic, so... It's anti-aging, anti-oxidant, anti-inflammatory. And then the nutrients, it has a lot of potassium in it. It has better carotene in it, calcium, camphor. It has essential oils, flavonoids, folate, magnesium, manganese, protein. It has iron, vitamins A, B3, B6, B12, vitamin C, zinc. So I'm telling you like, the rosemary is very beneficial for a lot of people and it's not it's not cost effective. So for those who have the flu, who have all type of illnesses and like you don't know what to do, you're not sure, yes, make you some rosemary tea and drink it. Like it doesn't hurt. It does not hurt. Don't overdo it. Do not overdo it. Try a little cup, not a big cup, but just try a little cup because you want to do your own trial and error. So try a little bit and then wait. Wait like an hour and see if you have any reactions. And then take a little bit more. And like that's how you get your body going to like the herb. You don't want to just go in heads, like heads first and then, you know, 
you just pretty much out of it. You're out. But so the rosemary is best used for bronchitis and asthma. Um, it produces sedative effects for the central nervous system. It strengthens and stimulates and calms the nervous system. It reduces the production of mucus. So it reduces the inflammation in the mucous membrane as well. Um, it's great for liver disorders, gallbladder diseases. It helps solve a lot of stomach problems and gas and heartburn as well. It relaxes the mind, relieving stress, and it calms the nervous system. So it also helps skin diseases. It helps reduce cancer cells by stopping the formation of the, um, the growth of the cells. It's a good treatment for baldness. So for those like who's losing hair and you're not sure, it's good for that. Um, it helps to recover and regenerate the functioning of the nervous system. So it protects the neurons from dying, which is really good because the neurons is the cells that communicates with the other cells in your body. It's the main component of the nervous tissue. So you want that. Um, doo -doo -doo. But yeah, so I think I gave you more than enough on the benefits from my little research that I got here. And this was Q Green. Thanks for watching me. Bye-bye.